early access Valheim review. Should you play this? Should you let it take over your life? And the answer is yes, actually, you should. No, the point of this review is to find out if this, is, if this game is relevant to you or not. Now, first and foremost, let me explain what this is. Valheim is an early access game that just came onto Steam about a week and a half ago and has already accumulated over 2 million downloads, which is kind of insane, actually. Most games don't even get anywhere near that that are fully released. On top of that, it's only 20 bucks. It's relatively inexpensive right now. And for what I've seen thus far, it, it does feel like a pretty damn polished and finished product. Now, of course, it's not fully finished as early access would suggest. Still has probably another year or two of production. But with that said, you do have five of the nine biomes complete. Now I should explain what biomes are. Biomes are essentially different portions of the world that equate to different um, major tasks that need to be solved. So that's the whole point of the game. So what, so what do you do in Valheim essentially? Well, you survive, but you survive with a purpose in mind. You need to go to all the different biomes. Again, there are nine total, five working right now and you need to kill the boss of that biome in order to get something that they give that will allow you to progress into the next one it's a game of progression of course with survival characteristics and a little bit of a uh, little bit of action rpgs thrown in there as well so with that in mind it does hit all of the juicy sort of fun genres that I think a lot of people are interested in, but myself, I've never actually played a survival game and never been interested in a survival game before. So this game was completely new to me and it was brought upon uh, as a suggestion by one of my friends who I was playing with. So with that in mind, again, this is coming from someone who is not really a fan of survival games, having a ton of fun in a survival game and already put in over 20 hours on a survival game, which is insane to myself in the like less than one week that I've had it. So. With all that said, how can I give you a better idea of how this game goes? Well, let's talk about the gameplay. So the gameplay is relatively simple. It's relatively, uh, it's relative, it's, as you can see, graphically speaking, it's not like stunning or anything like that, and, but it makes sense. So those two things would sound like they're kind of detriments and that I'm down talking the game. And maybe to some people it is. I myself am a, am a graphics whore. I love looking at cyberpunk, just for example, even though, you know, it leaves a lot to be desired in other angles, the graphics are just stellar. In this game, it's not gonna be a selling point. They're not like super terrible either. It's maybe better than, than Minecraft, for example, but it gets the job done. And because it is essentially, you know, a fantasy setting as you are a Viking in essentially purgatory, um, well, what's going on is is, is that it, it kind of makes sense. It, it's, a, it's good enough to be immersive. It's good enough to be immersive. Um, on top of that, I did say that the gameplay is relatively simple. You know, you, well, you press, le you press left mouse button to swing your, to swing whatever weapon that you have or swing your ax and you press right mouse buttons to, uh, to block or, uh, or, well, or to block pretty much for the most part. Now, on top of that, obviously there's a lot of complexity with the building system itself. Uh, it is in a lot of ways intuitive as well, if you are familiar with survival games, but if you're new to them, that's gonna take a little bit of a learning curve to get used to. And of course the controls are gonna be, you know, laid out to you relatively simply in the tutorial. So there's nothing that's like too crazy, but what I would say the major draw on this game like this and what has really made me attracted to it uh, over time is that there's, a, there's an amazing sense of accomplishment in this game because it is actually relatively difficult whether you're playing alone or whether you're playing co-op up to 10 people. And that is, or that means that progression is quite the accomplishment. And when you have that accomplishment feel, it's kind of like Dark Souls when you take down a big boss that you were struggling against for a long time. It was frustrating, it was difficult, but when you overcome, especially in a group of people as well, it's like you did something. Something, some, something has been accomplished and now you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, typically with some sort of new ability that you gain from that boss or a new sort of, uh, new sort of crafting item that progresses you in some, some meaningful way elsewhere. That is done incredibly, incredibly well. For example, the game starts off in kind of like the tutorial region where you don't have anything. You're just a naked Viking in Valheim. And in order to get started, you need to go around punching trees with your fists in order to break them down to collect a few pieces of wood and then scavenge on the ground for pieces of stone that are relatively difficult to find at the beginning, by the way, as well, and in, until you can put enough together to where you can make an actual stone ax. At that point, you can start to chop down trees a little bit more effectively, also collect a few more other tools uh, effectively as well, maybe even take down a few boars as well, which is gonna allow you to build other tools, maybe even like some leather uh, tunics, you know, some armor for yourself so you're not so damn naked and cold all the time. 
Then once you get your then once you get your actual building hammer ready, uh, once you collect the materials for that, what you can do is you can start to actually build yourself a nice humble abode so that you have some place to sleep and store your stuff that you've been collecting outside. And so when you die, you don't just get flown into the spawn point once again, you get to get flown to your bed where you have all of your all of your nice stuff. You might even have a cooking fire already ready for you, which you can make more food for yourself. Yes, food is a mechanic in this game as well. It's not a huge one, but it is there and it really only requires as much effort as you want to give it. Now, of course, you do certainly get boosts for focusing on it, but if you don't feed yourself ever, it's it's not going to be helpful, but you're not going to straight up die from it. Uh, you will you will just reach a baseline essentially. So. With all of that in mind, I think this game is incredibly well done. Uh, now, I have only progressed into the second biome, I suppose. So you have the tutorial. That's, I guess, number one. Then, you, then we're on the second one right now. And even then, as I said, we put in more than 20 hours into this game, and we're only there. And there's five right now. And we haven't even taken, we haven't even approached the second the second biome boss. <laughs> Still just like kind of building our, our encampment because it's, it's really, really fun. It's really, really cool. We have this massive encampment with a humongous gate outside. Everyone has like massive triple story buildings. We have a communal like blacksmithing sort of forgery area, which is just pretty epic. And, uh, and everyone takes a lot of pride in what they built. And there's a lot of style points to it. And it becomes a fun thing to kind of, you know, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, fuck around with your friends with. Now, there is um, obviously one major thing that I think a lot of people would have on their mind with a game like this being an early access is that there's not gonna be enough content. Well, as I said, you know, 20 hours into that, we haven't even taken down the second boss of five, and I imagine they're gonna, they're, they're gonna have the rest relatively soon. But, uh, but on top of that, once you complete your own, I guess, path forwards, your own world, you can take your character and load him into someone else's uh, someone else's world, and it will save everything that's on your character, minus a few of the you know obvious things that you can't just teleport from world to world because it'd just be unfair. And you can go uh, shack up with them. You could PvP with them if you wanted to. Take, try to take them down if it's marked for it. That should be also de denoted, though, that PvP is not a big focus in this game. I imagine that when the full release does come, there's probably going to be like world versus world PvP, because that would just be too damn cool to give to, to, to not do. But as it is right now, if you do reach the end game, you can have replayability in the sense that every world is procedurally generated, meaning that no two worlds are the same. And then two, you can just drop into someone else's world and start making your stuff and you know existing there and having some fun with it so there's a lot to this game a lot of depth to it and the exploration is done incredibly well because of the simplicity with it in the fact that the game does not tell you what to do there's no hand holding here I think that there's becoming a major resurgence in gaming where people or game players do not want those sorts of games they want a legitimate challenge because that is how we as humans are set up to be we like challenge we like to struggle in something and then over time overcome it learn something from that apply it to the next problem and do the same the same thing all over and that's that's why we get those good feelings of accomplishment you know it makes sense and it promotes that sort of growth and that can actually be a, le a lesson in life in some ways but i'll leave the philosophical portion for later <laughs> um more importantly as it is right now i would say that this game is actually just incredibly enjoyable you know you know if i'm just talking mono e mono straight from the heart the game is incredibly enjoyable if you have a few friends who are interested in these sorts of games to begin with and you have and you do need actually quite a fair bit of time in, in order to invest in this game to really make it worthwhile uh it is going to be a very enjoyable experience i'm speaking again as someone who's not a fan of survival games this game is really 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 fun and i find myself constantly daydreaming about the next sort of buildings that i want to make or the next sort of additions that i want to have to my household or the next sort of excursion that we're going to go after because you know one of our guys just built a massive long ship and we're ready to like go out into the world and search out the next biomes boss and take them down or, or go d dungeon hunting or whatever it might be there's a myriad of possibilities and i absolutely love that about this game so with that said if i could give you my full opinion on it yeah i think i think it's certainly worth it for 20 bucks i mean it's very 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 good deal now of course I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you how to live your life. If you're interested in survival games, I don't think that you're going to go wrong with this one. And with that said, I will see you in the next one. Take care.